Hey everyone, it's Aaron with Hale Varsity. I am joined by a new face here on our YouTube channel. It's Brady Oltmans. He's not new if you've been reading Hale Varsity, but you're new to the YouTube channel. Brady, welcome. Thank you for having me. It's a great day to really kick this off and be a first timer here. Yeah, so you know if you haven't read his work on HaleVarsity.com so far, Brady is our new football beat writer. So we're going to give you just a quick breakdown of what we do know, what we don't know, things to uh, basically stick with Hale Varsity as we get more information. Uh, we just watched the Unity Walk. Uh, not a whole lot is given away in those instances, so I can't say that like we've got a lot of intel, but a couple of injury notes. What did Scott Frost have to say this week, knowing that we actually haven't really seen anyone come out yet? Well, kind of all week he'd been talking pretty tight-lipped about everything. Um, Travis Vokalik is also the, the big one, probably, that everybody remembers. Um, they really wanted to get him more involved last uh, second half of Northwestern. Mark Whipple kind of talked about that during practice. Day-to-day, um, -day still, Scott says that he's progressed really well every day, but who really knows? We haven't seen him out here in pads, and that's kind of what matters. Um, Omar Manning wasn't in pads last week. Um, still unknown, haven't really seen them run out and around. Word is Nick Henrich is um, – Coming in with a little bit of a banged-up hand um, issue, he finished Northwestern, so and we really haven't seen him that much from practice this week. So it's just something to maybe keep an eye on. Coaches, again, have been pretty tight-lipped about status. So um, just kind of something to keep an eye on as that, that defense kind of tries to sure itself up after last week. And, yeah, talking specifically about the offense, when we look at Travis Vokalex, potential, like if, if Nebraska is unable, which it seems like it's trending more – like he won't be available versus will be. That seems to be the like going, basically a lot of you here on YouTube when you watched a Scott Frost video from Thursday after his answer said, oh, it sounds like he's not playing. Yeah. Um, which, you know, you never know what could have changed or not in the last day. But I did see Chris Hickman, he, he was as expected walking with the unity walk did notice that one with that said though the depth is the issue at at tight end right now because you don't have um thomas fedoni right now there's just a lot of unknown depth so what can we expect from north you wrote a great piece this week about north dakota and just what to expect what can we expect from north dakota in this game against nebraska well, they're a North Dakota team, so you know that they're going to try to run the ball really well. Obviously, there's a there's a disparity, especially in the lines between FCS and FBS. There's just a different breed of athlete that Nebraska is able to get in that North Dakota is not going to be able to get in. Um, they've still got a good running back core returning, not their top returner coming back. So they're going to try to push for that. Um, they do a couple of different looks and a couple of different things on offense that coaches mentioned throughout the week that should test this defense and keep it kind of on its feet. Um, but the big thing is Memorial Stadium. I mean, last year North Dakota went on the road and played at Utah State, and I've been to Logan, seen games there, beautiful backdrop, beautiful stadium, but it's not like this. And the last time that they played in anything comparable to this was in Seattle for a Washington game in 2018. And everything's pretty much changed in college football and the world since 2018. So it's, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how they come out and attack this game. And if you want your trivia fact of the day, when was the last time North Dakota faced Nebraska? 1961. So it seems like it was about time for the two to face off once again. Brady, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's go get to work. We have plenty to come at HaleVarsity.com and also here on our YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. You'll also be able to see the Unity Walk itself here on YouTube as well as the uh, Tunnel Walk. So be sure to stick with us. Give us a follow, subscribe, all of the good stuff. We'll talk to you later.